Hello friends, welcome to our channel EduDR and in this particular video, I am going to discuss one frequently asked placement interview question, okay? And the problem is, check if two arrays are equal or not. This is very important for data structures and algorithm point of view also. So the problem says, given two arrays, A and B of equal size N, the task is to find if given arrays are equal or not. Two arrays are said to be equal if both of them contain same set of elements. Arrange, arrangements of elements may be different though. They should contain only same set of elements. Arrangement, arrangements may differ. Okay. Note, if there are repetitions, then counts of repeated elements must also be same for two arrays to be equal. Okay. So let us check the input and output pattern. The first line of the input contains an integer t denoting number of test cases. Then t test case follows. Each test case contains three lines of input. First line contains an integer n denoting the size of the array. The second line contains element of the array A. The third line contains elements of array B. Okay. So I hope the input pattern is clear, clear to you. Now output should be what? For each test case, print 1 if the arrays are equal, else print 0. So let us directly go to example test case and let us try to understand the problem. Suppose my input test case are 2. That means 2 test cases are there. First one, see as in previous slide we have seen, for each test case there should be 3 lines. First one is length of the array that is 5 or number of elements present in the array. Then second line in the input should contain the elements of the first array and second line uh, should contain the elements of the second array. So elements of the first array is 1, 2, 5, 4, 0 and second array is 2, 4, 5, 0, 1. So if you observe first array and second array are basically permutation of each other. Same elements they contain. See 1, 1, 2, 2, 4, 4, 5, 5, 0, 0. Next, next test case, next test case is having length 3, 3 elements for the first array 1 to 5 and 3 elements for the second array 2 for 15. See, 1 is present in the first array but in the second array 1 is not present, 2 is present, 2 is present, 4 is present in the second array but in the first array 4 is not present. So they are mismatched. So for the second, in, second input test case, output should be 0 but for the first test case add, as all are matching, they are basically permutation of each other so output should be 1. Okay. This is what we have to do. Now, try to think about one algorithm which can be used to solve this particular problem in O of n time complexity and O of n extra space. Okay? I am explaining one optimized solution which can be helpful. Let's discuss that. So, what we can do for solving this particular problem? First, we can create one hash map where the key will be integer that is distinct integer and the value will be the frequency of the integer. Okay. What we will do? We will traverse in the first array and we will store the key value pair as the integer and its corresponding frequency. After that, we will traverse in the second array and what we will do? In the second array, we will basically Whenever we will get a particular integer, we will find whether that is present in the previous hash map or not. If it is present, we will decrement the frequency value by 1. Otherwise, we will go to next one. Okay. So, as a result, what will happen? After traversing of both the array in the hash map, the, for each distinct values of integer, the value in the hash map should be 0. Because if they are having same frequency then each one will cancel out and as a result hash map value should be 0 okay so that's what simple algorithm is here i have written the code see import java.util.star import java.lang.star import java.io.star i have imported the packages in java i am discussing the code in java if you want you can implement the same algorithm in your favorable language whether that may be c++ c python whatever okay see public class hi hi is our class name then public static void main string args we are creating the main class then scanner obj equal to new scanner system dot in 
we are creating the object of this scanner class and then in t equal to obj dot next int we are taking the input that is number of test cases then for int i equal to 0 i less than t i plus plus that is we are iterating t times that is number of test cases then we are creating one hash map map long long a equal to new hash map long long i am taking long because our input size may be very high okay so to accumulate that i am taking long and long l equal to obj dot next long i am taking the length of the array which is same for both the array then for the first array i am taking the input and i am storing in the hash map as key value pair key is the distinct integer and value as the frequency here that's what i have written for int i for int j equal to 0 j less than a j plus plus long m equal to obj dot next long if a dot contains key m that means if it is already present we have to increment the frequency so long ts equal to a dot get m ts equal to ts plus 1 a dot put m comma ts we are again putting that else if it is not present we are putting that as frequency of 1 a dot put m comma long 1 now we will iterate in our second array so that long g equal to 0 for j equal to 0 j less than lj plus plus long m equal to obj dot next long and then again i am doing what i am checking whether this particular integer is present in our hash map or not if it is present we will decrement the frequency of the particular integer if a dot contains key m then we are taking the frequency and we are subtracting ts equal to ts minus 1 and then again we are putting in the hash map else else if it is not present in the hash map that means this particular array element in the second array is not matching with any element of the first array so that means obviously we are having mismatch so for that we are incrementing one counter here we have defined long g equal to 0 that's what we are implementing here okay so like that it will go on for this second array now if this particular value is not equal to 0 that means there is a mismatch so that two array are not same we are returning 0 if g not equal to 0 system dot out dot print ln 0 if g equal to equal to 0 that means all the elements of both the array are present that is in the second array all the elements are present in the first array but we have to check the frequency are same or not to check the frequency are same or not what we have to check we have to check in our hash map the all the values are zero or not so set long m is equal to a dot key set i am taking all the key keys and then i am traversing in my hash map for long e colon ms that is for each loop if a dot get e not equal to zero g plus plus that means if any value is not equal to 0 we are incrementing the g then again we are checking if g equal to 0 that means perfect match so system dot out dot print ln 1 else system dot out dot print ln 0 that means they are not equal array let me run this code and show you so let us check our this particular test case so number of test cases 2 so i am entering 2 then length is 5 okay fine and then first array 1 2 5 4 0 1 2 5 4 sorry it became 40 okay let me clear this uh, let me run from beginning so my test case is number of test cases 2 length is 5 and array elements are 1 2 5 4 0 1 2 5 4 0 and second array is second array is 24501 24501 what should we get we should get output as 1 because two arrays are permutation of each other only arrange, arrangement differs elements and frequencies are same see we are getting output as 1 okay let's check for the next one so array length is 3 1 2 5 1 2 5 and then 2 4 15 is the second array 2 4 15 so these are mismatch so we should get the output as 0 as we are getting okay so this is one of the optimized algorithm because i am using o of 
in extra space for this particular hash map only and my problem's time complexity is O of n. One for loop, one another for loop, nowhere nesting is done, okay? You can see here, here also another separate for loop, okay? So this is time complexity is O of n. One solution you may think that is trivial one that sort both the array and then compare each element, okay? But you know that optimized sorting also occurs in O of n log n time complexity. So your time complexity will increase in that case. So this is one of the optimized solution, right? So same code I am going to post in the comment section. If you want, you can check there. This is all for my this video. And if you have not subscribed our channel till now, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest video. Thank you for watching.